Insert hip YouTube greeting here. It's shoes day and your chamalier is hashtag humbled, blessed, and excited to announce, I got another box in. As Brad Pitt so eloquently asked, what's in the box? Well, I'll tell you what's in the box. Huh. An Ultra Boost, duh. But it's the Ultra Boost in the green, gray color way. That rhymed. And yes, I do know the way. Get a little closer look. Now, if you follow me, you know I work for a nonprofit organization, Guardians Drum and Bugle Corps, and their colors are green and white and whatever. Go green. But I saw these shoes and I thought, these might look very nice with all of my Guardians green wear. So of course, I had to have it. Oh God, okay, I already know what I love about this shoe and I, before I go any further though. Oh, dog. Been a long time, shouldn't have left you without a dope beat to step to. Consider this, the last two shoes that I have received in this household and reviewed were not Adidas Ultra Boosts. They were the Nike Epic React and the Under Armour Hover. Oh yeah. Once you go boost, you never go caboose. <sighs> roost. The chickens come home to roost, right? No. Surely there's gotta be a good saying about once you go boost, you never go. As I said, ultra boost. Green and gray. Isn't that nice? This shoe is predominantly gray with specks of greens, sort of in a grid-like pattern that you would find if you were in an airplane flying over a city. My favorite part of the shoe is the faux whatever 3D printed heel cup in this like matte white. Oh, it's so fresh. Surely it'd be on with Bella Hadid if I showed up with this. I mean, I'm gonna get it, right? I know these aren't Nike Air Maxes, but does that joke work? Probably not. I'm sorry, just forgive me. I'll see myself out. Let's start the part you already know about. The bottom, continental rubber outsole, torsion system to lock in all of that torsion that you need. Stock Ultra Boost midsole, which, oh, I love it so much. I love it. Do you love it? I do, I do. I wanna take this boost out behind the playground and get it pregnant. White plastic tab in the boost. The aforementioned faux 3D white printed heel cup. Looks kind of brushed white, really love it. With the silver ultra boost writing. Your cage is a gray cage, feels like rubber. Not nylon or any of that other material that some of the ultra boosts are coming out with. So this is kind of boring that it comes with this that way, but I have a plan for that. Your standard ultra boost flat laces. And the aglets are white. It's like a good white. You ever notice how in some shoes they say it's like a triple white or whatever and it doesn't really get like super white? These are white, I love it. And then everything else is pretty stock about this shoe. 4.0, prime knit upper, here's your tongue. It's hot, I dig it. And of course, your removable insole, gray, with your Boosty McBoosterson font. There's the back. The inside is your standard inside of an Ultra Boost with the black material and the honeycomb-esque inner. So you can see the boost. These shoes released last week, they sold out, but then there was a quick restock. And like any of the 4.0s, these are probably gonna restock off and on over the next few weeks. So just keep an eye out if you want these shoes. So next step, Hype Beast lace my sneakers, put them on feet and cue the sexy music.
comes to comfort and fit, these Ultra Boosts fit exactly like the Ultra Boost 4.0s normally fit. So I ordered my stock size 9, which is my true to size, and it fits just perfectly. Side note, God, it felt good to step back into a new Ultra Boost. Of course, I've been wearing Boost in between wearing the shoes and recording for the Nike Epic React and the Under Armour Hover, but forgive me, Boost. It was for science. Nothing like stepping into a fresh, innocent, untouched, virgin, if you will, pair of shoes. You never forget the first time. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this shoe. I like the crazy stuff. And while this isn't crazy, I do love how the white pops on that heel cup. And of course, the mixing of the green and the gray works well for what I do with the Guardians Drum and Bugle Corps. If you're interested in my other life, my professional life, how I make money, how I make music, visit my other channel, Daniel Montoya Jr. If you're interested in this world of drum corps that I keep talking about, visit guardiansdbc.org. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, thumbs up emoji, skin color's up to you, maybe even subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill till the next episode.